So here are the four components that we're going to be using in order to mount the collar to the cow's neck. We start with the belt. Go ahead. We put the belt into the inside of the lock. Let's show what, what how, how, do, how do we know it's the in and not the out? In and out. Okay. We close it, but not all the way. We're not locking it, just closing it. And then we take the other side of the belt and we insert it into the inside of the collar, into the in path, in slot of the collar. And slide the collar almost all, all the way to the weight. We put it on the, on the cow's neck. Of course, the cow has to be in a squeeze at that time. And then we take the belt and we insert it into the other side and the other slot on the uh, locking mechanism, the lock and weight. We adjust the position, more or less, not final. And then we lock hard the two sides of the weight and lock. Now it's locked. Now we slide the collar so that it's positioned on the upper uh, th upper third of the neck. And not not yet, not yet, not yet. And uh, the lock, the lock itself, lock and, and the weight is down at not the very bottom, but even over to, to the other side. Now we're going to take the lid that we showed you earlier and insert it into the other side of the lock, the back side of the lock, and push on it. Hard. You're going to hear a click when it locks in. And you can see that now the collar is not going to move. And this is the right position. No, it should, should be higher. That's the optimal position. Weight and lock down in the bottom. And that's the end of the process. First time looks a little bit cumbersome, but after the second color, it looks going to be very natural and easy to use. Again, the car has to be calm and in the uh, squeeze to be able to do this uh, operation.